everybody, please welcome Mark Paul, Gosler, and Tone Bell. My man, welcome to the show. Pleasure to meet you, man. Tone Bell, what's up, bro? Right? How you feeling, man? Good, man. Good, right. welcome to the show. What's your name? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just going to sit down. Anytime you want to. Well, I always, I try to let the love subside before you sit down. And they were still giving it to you, so I just let you stand through it. Let, He's, a rookie. He's a rookie, Steve. Yeah. He's a rookie on the, uh, on the sit-down. On the sit-downs. On the sit we're going to teach you something. Trying to figure it out. Yeah, just, I, was, I was ready. Y'all saw me ready. I was ready. <laughs> then, I, then we let it coast on out and let it happen. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you know the feeling of being on a hit, but how does that feel, man? You got a hit show? It's, uh, Tell I, us about it's, it. It's feeling good. I get to work with a buddy. You know, we, uh, Matt and I, we're friends, and, and so uh, it's nice going to work every day. Hope, you know, people watch and support it, and, and uh, it's, it's fun going to work every day. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you all knew each other before the show? No. No, we know. didn't. We... He had the show. Uh, I came on late and uh, had to do a chemistry re read with him to see if we had chemistry. Uh, and then, uh, not, so, not romantic. Hey, 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 fellas. But let's, but let's, hey, fellas. I don't want y'all to think that we're, that like, we're like, we're like this. Yeah, I don't. It was, we were, we were like in a casting session, and of course, I mean, I'm, I grew up watching Mark Paul and Saved by the Bell, you know, Zach Moore. So I see him, and I'm like, oh, man, I was like, oh, man, I didn't know y'all didn't tell me he was coming in, right? And so then he leaves after the audition, and uh, I chase him out, right? I chase him out of the audition. I'm like, hey, um, can we take a picture real quick? I just want to, I just want to get a selfie with you. And he didn't even have the job yet, so it was going to be awkward if he, if he didn't get a job. But after he got a job, I could post a picture, so it all worked out. I say, yeah. I say let's not rule it out, because we'll do anything for ratings. So if, that, if, if in the second <laughs> season we need to be the diverse couple on the show, <laughs> I'm not opposed to that. I, uh... Just saying. Well, I'm gonna Just tell you, saying. man, you're gonna have to look a little bit more into it than that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you've been helping uh, Mark Paul out with his social media. What, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, because he with is uh, That's so not true. terrible That's so at it. Not true. I'm not terrible. You at are it. real bad at it. He just got a Facebook like two weeks ago. <laughs> you got on Facebook two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. His excuse was <laughs> there were too many like fake accounts, you know, people using his name, or whatever. And uh, so he finally gets on it. And I mean, he, he, if you can see this, see this, show him the face. Show him the face. This is the face right here, huh? <laughs> he looks like this all the time, okay? So all he does is he just like, I don't understand it. I don't want to have to this, uh, post and likes and all this kind of stuff. He just, he hates it. And so NBC sent him to a class. He had to go to class after work one day. <laughs> I come out, we like, we get off set, and I'm like, hey, where are you going? He goes, I got a class to learn how to post stuff. And... It's all an act. I mean, come on, guys. I wear an Apple Watch. I, I know technology. I know what's up. I know how to tweet, I know how to uh, gram, I know how to Facebook. I just don't like to. Whoa, whoa, you heard whoa, somebody whoa. say it, gram. I know whoa, how to whoa. gram. I know how to do grams. I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you, you're married. Yes. But you're single. Very. <laughs> what? I love that. Ever, you, you ever try to set him up? Uh, not yet. No, I have a bunch of married friends. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have four kids, Steve, so... Uh, he, yeah, I yeah. mean, he, he keeps... I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good, that, man. I think that, that's something you can help him with, though. I like it. Yeah. I'm good. I'm oh, good. You're, no. you really? we, we talk about his kids all the time. I'm like, I think I'm going to just relax for a minute. <laughs> it's, hey, Tom. We just went to a two-year... His, his son just turned two. Uh, and so we just went to the birthday party. It's nothing, it's nothing but kids running around. And I was like, I'm gonna be inside, I'm gonna have a beer. <laughs> I'm good, I'm, I'm good for a It's really good uh, picture. Decker, man. oh man, he's amazing, he's cool. cool so, kid. I mean, you're both here with the producer of the show. This guy right here is a friend of mine. He took my book, uh, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, and turned it into a movie. Please welcome Will Packer. Pat, what's it like working with these guys? You know what, Steve? You can always tell when you watch a TV show if the chemistry is natural. 
right? You can tell if the actors really hang out, really like each other, or if they're just saying their lines. I love the fact that we got a show, you got a, a white dude and a black dude, married, single, and they actually really embrace those roles, and they talk about those kind of things that are kind of like awkward conversations, you know, sex, politics, race. Like, they really do that and really hang out even when the cameras aren't rolling. So as people are watching the show, you can kind of feel that natural chemistry between the boys. Okay, cool. Now, since, since you're here to promote the new show, Truth Be Told, we thought that it'd be fun to play a game with you guys. This game is called Two Lies and a Truth. And so we got three women here. Now, one of them is today's female groundbreaker. I like to bring women on the show that are doing something special. <laughs> one of these women is the first female helicopter pilot for CAL FIRE and the only female pilot in the U.S. who works directly for the fire department full time. And the two other women... And the two other women, well, they're just a couple of fine chicks. <laughs> I don't really know what they do. Ladies, introduce yourselves. My name is Desiree Horton, and I am today's female groundbreaker. My name is Desiree Horton, and I am today's female groundbreaker. I am Desiree Horton, and I am today's female groundbreaker. It's gonna be up to us to figure out who really is the groundbreaker. Now, if we do, the entire audience is walking out of here with a prize today. So. Well, we're gonna see how it goes when we come back. We'll be right back, folks.